what's going on? This is Stephen C. Raphael, the old mad man. Okay, check one. <laughs> check one, two. Okay, is this thing on? I am the old mad man, and here's my cup to prove it. I like you. Okay, well, let's see. I'd like to say that uh, just like I got it, just like Mr. Rogers, I got to start off every video and get my credibility. You know, I'm not a doctor. You know, I'm not a Most doctors are overweight, and so are the nurses, especially the nurses. There are ones that are about 200 pounds. There are about four months later on OMAD, and there's a lot of different pictures there. And, uh, you know, I do this, uh, I do this channel every single day to reaffirm because every single day you have to make the decision that you're gonna eat one meal a day. You're not gonna snack, you're not gonna graze because if it's 11 o'clock and your friend comes over and you have some coffee, which is great, but then she gives you a little bit of those lemon twist cookies or this or a fudge or something, it's gonna spike your insulin and then you're really gonna get hungry. Check one, okay. <clears throat> I'd like to say, uh, I'm gonna review a lot of the things. First off, uh, you gotta weigh yourself every single day. That's just all there is to it. You know, you gotta take off your clothes, wake up before you have your coffee, and uh, you know, even because you might gain just a little bit by drinking your coffee. You only gotta have black coffee, no creamy sugar. So that's enough said there. Okay, another thing um, I would like to say that uh, <laughs> I'm pretty happy today. I would like to say that uh, you know people say, well, you know, you've been doing. I am going on. I am on eight months of OMAD, 123 days, and uh, you know I'm 140 pounds, and I went from 200 to that, and I'm basically staying at this weight, and uh, I am gonna be eating one meal a day for life. You know, I fill up my car about once a week. I do a lot of things just one time, but I'm gonna have to do this because uh, um, you could, there's a song by Johnny Cash, okay? Johnny Cash, his song is called Sooner or Later God Will Cut You Down. Now the thing about it is, it's, uh, it, it's you know, once you lose the weight, and but then if you get a little, uh, little loose or this or that, you are like a guinea pig or a rabbit or a mouse. You are like, a science project. You start, you start loosening it up a little bit. Where the song goes, you can run for a long time. You can run for a long time. You can run for a long time. But sooner or later, gotta cut you down. Well, you can't eat for a long time. You can't eat for a long time. But sooner or later, gotta. Down. Basically what happened is, you know, I lost all the weight and I kind of, you know, well, I tell people I'm in maintenance mode and this and that. And, you know, I say I was hungry and I'm like, oh, I'm really thirsty because I play over at this mall and it's really dry. And, stuff. and so, you know, I had an orange during my break and, and I'm really thirsty and I've just had water and then I have this. Wake up the next day, I'm like two and a half pounds heavier. But that's not really what I want to talk about. So, But the thing about OMAD, it's very, very forgiving. Okay, thing about it is, you know, you get, you get back strict on it, the weight comes off the next day, it doesn't matter. I'd like to, uh, Randy Trucker, I wanna use him as a little example here. Um, thing, and I don't think he'll mind because we talk about each other on the show. Um, I was a little bit uh, nervous about him going on that cruise. He went on a cruise for about a week and just by the way he talks and this and that and uh, talks about things, I, I could just tell you that he's a, He's an O-matter, but uh, I just had a feeling that he was going to gain some weight. And then when I kept asking, how's it going on the cruise, and I didn't hear anything back, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew. I'm not putting him down, because the thing about O-mad, if it's three or four days from now, we'll lose it. But just scientifically, let's use that as an example. It was a week cruise, and he said he gained 15 pounds. Okay. He says, you know, uh, cruises are, uh, are killers for everybody. And you know, I don't really know. Uh, let's see who we got here at the wheel here. Yes, Stevie, you think that you're so wonderful that you don't, you won't eat at the thing? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, you can eat it whatever you want. But yeah, it's true. The thing about it is I don't... I honestly don't think the cruise would affect me personally at all because I had 30 years of depression no purpose, loserness, just, and, uh, you know, now, but, but I want to talk, you know, you just loosen up a little bit, and if it's 15 pounds you gained um, in one week, that's basically two pounds a day. So 
The thing about it, and Joe over at the Revolution says, you go back to eating the way you used to eat, and uh, you can run for a long time, but sooner or later gotta cut you down. I just love that song, okay? We're five minutes into the show, okay? Check one, two. Okay, come from the planet of Omania. You know, I do this show every single day. I try to come up with new stuff, you know? And, uh, you know, yesterday I was, a, I don't uh, have internet at the exact same place here, so I go across the street and uh, I go into this uh, grocery store that has a little coffee shop. I film in here and then I go there and upload it and change things around. But, uh, I don't know what's happened to people in the grocery store. I just started singing this song to myself, and I think we might have a new hit on our hands. Uh, it goes like this. I've, let me see if I can play it. Heavy, heavy people. Heavy, heavy people. Heavy, 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 heavy people. Heavy, heavy people. Heavy, heavy people. They are heavy people. Heavy, heavy people. Heavy, heavy... I can't even believe it. And this one guy, you know, I was getting a couple bananas for my grandson in line, and he comes, this one guy comes up to me, and he's just, I've never seen, I mean, the man is gifted. I don't know what he keeps in that stomach, but if, if he had an autopsy and we cut that off, that would probably be 180 pounds of complete fat. I don't even know how he walks around. When I was 200 pounds, I could barely breathe. Okay, um, so we talked about that, and now we're going straight to the, um, <laughs> before we do that, how about Big Big Boy? He's a big, big boy, he's a big, big boy, he's a big, 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 big boy. Okay, so uh, let's see, there is, must be, <laughs> okay, they're kind of similar, but you know what, I don't know. Okay, so we're going to go for the, um, we're going to go for the Oh Mad Man um, Wisdom. <laughs> I got a little commercial before we do the wisdom. Lose weight. Eat one meal a day. That's good advice. Okay. Oh, madman. Oh, madman. How do I lose weight by eating one meal a day? I'll tell you, grasshopper. I went to sleep and dreamed a thousand paths. I woke up and walked a new one. You know what? I tried so many things. I tried Weight Watchers and it didn't last. You know, I tried Overeaters Anonymous and they took my cat. You know, you know, I, I got. In fact, you know, I got it here at the end of the show. I wanted to talk to you about this. Uh, you know, I got this uh, this TV hooked up and uh, they had this commercial of this lady, this local Omaha lady that guarantees twenty five to thirty pounds. She says she guarantees it. Uh, what you have to do is you have to take these um, these drops and put three under your tongue three times a day. I mean, can you believe how ridiculously dense do they think people are? Oh, I just need to get this stuff. And she goes, I've helped thousands of people. You know what? After, she, after you go there, she's going to say, but you have to exercise and uh, eat right. And that's basically the whole thing. Okay. Now, um, I would like to also talk about the fact as uh, I would like to talk about uh, OMAD eating one meal a day. You know, I've seen a lot of OMAD people uh, watching people and talking and stuff, and they're saying, yeah, me and my wife went out. It was kind of difficult. We had this. That's what we do on the weekends. Let me tell you something. That's not what you do on weekends. If you do, I mean, if you're on a diet or something like that, that's what you do on weekends. But if you're doing, oh, if you're doing OMAD, OMAD is the diet for me. OMAD is the diet for me. If you're doing OMAD, every single day is exactly the, <clears throat> exactly the same. You know what? It doesn't matter if it's the weekend, doesn't matter if it's Friday night, doesn't matter if it's Monday morning, doesn't matter if it's Sunday night buffet with the family. You know, uh, it, it doesn't matter. And then, when, you know, when the, when the people say, you know, yeah, you know, Friday and this or that, and, you know, the thing about it is every single day is got to be the same. And you know what? There must be more to life than food. Must be more to life than shoving food in your mouth. What can I say? I try to make it entertaining because I'm going to be here for the rest of my life every day. Half of you guys will probably leave, but you know what? 
<laughs> oh, I'm AD. It's a die for me. Okay, let's see. Now, uh, I wanted to talk about the fact that uh, um, I have a little fan club, Stephen C. Raphael, and that's where people post pictures of themselves. We talk, uh, we do a little motivation, and uh, it's a lot of fun there. I would like to also go straight into something completely different. I must have talked about this. I got like 130 videos or whatever. I haven't counted them. Uh, what day are you on, by the way? I'm on day 223. You know, and uh, this is, uh, it's not a diet, it's not a lifestyle. You just eat one meal a day. That's all there is to it. You don't snack or graze. And you have non-caloric uh, diet. Um, I like to say that I, uh, <laughs> I once, this is one of my experiences, I once uh, went for $60 to this uh, Holiday End or something, and they had this uh, hypnotized guy, and uh, it worked for about four months. But the problem is, you know, every morning said so you have to wake up, you got to imagine food, you got to put X's over it, you got to, you know, this and that. And it kind of worked for a while, but it didn't work forever. And uh, this is, a, this is a, a thing that works forever. I just wanted to talk about the uh, hypnotizing thing. Okay, we're 11 minutes into this, and uh, I want to talk about the first week of OMAD. By the way, for people who just see, see me, you take one plate, medium size amount of food. First week, you can put a little bit of extra food on it, okay? Like and subscribe. Thank you for the PayPal stuff. Okay, now uh, I would like to talk about uh, the first week. Uh, I'm going to be making a little joke out of this, but uh, there's this little song by the, uh, by the Eagles. Desperado, oh God, I am. So hungry, I've been in pain, now I'm so bad. I'm used to eating like a baby. Oh, whenever I got hungry. Oh, no, the thing about it is, you're gonna get completely hungry the first week, but after you get past the first week, the second week is way easier. Then once you eat one meal a day, but you also got to get past all the temptations because you know there's gonna be a birthday party. Somebody's gonna invite you up for dinner. Somebody's gonna say, hey, try this crab cake. Hey, somebody's gonna say, hey, you want some red licorice? In the break room, there's gonna be some donuts. Oh, it's gonna be some donuts. So basically, I'm trying to make this entertaining. You know what? I'd like to go with a couple more pictures of me. Uh, what do you think of me? Okay, there I am. There's a big face. There's a little face. Okay, let's see. There's uh, there's the one picture I showed you. Uh, there is a gorilla. I'm actually at the zoo. Look at the size of my stomach there. Now, my stomach is basically an envelope, uh, you know. And uh, um, just remember, food is fuel food is fuel food is food is fuel. if you go into the description you can get one of these uh cups that says fuel food is fuel and you'll have a whole bunch of things each i've got a, actually 100 things memorized finally got the last six or seven um i'd like to tell you the benefits number one uh i'm going to give you from 60 to 70 you got them all memorized you're gonna have a better sex life you're gonna have a stronger um, self-confidence level you're gonna be in an elite club and and another thing is you're gonna food problems will be a thing of the past you'll be going to the bathroom I could rhyme that with past <coughs> you are gonna see heavy people okay heavy heavy people heavy heavy people heavy 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 people, okay. Um, another thing, you're gonna sleep way better. You're gonna help your breathing problems. Okay, your clothes are gonna fit way better. And let's see, what else? Um, you're gonna be able to wash yourself in the bathroom. I don't know, some of these big gigantic people scrub themselves. Uh, and the last thing, it's a lot more natural to be, um, you know, at a, at a healthy weight, you know. Food is not recreation. Hey, let's go out and do some Chinese. Why are you hungry? No, but let's go have a good time. You know what, if you wanna have a good time, go play softball or something. <coughs> okay. <coughs> so.
didn't want to be negative, but there's a couple, uh, there's a OMAD person who's been doing this about five years on the thing, and uh, not only does he look exactly the same, his weight keeps uh, going up a pound, down a pound, up a pound, down a pound, and uh, you know, OMAD is, is something you do every day, and it's not, oh, you know, it was hard this week, and the, you know, that's a diet, and uh, OMAD, one meal a day, is something that has absolutely saved my life. And, I mean, look at me here, you know, look at this. Look at my, my white hair, my completely bald head. Well, it's still bald, you know. I wish, I've given up on the wig thing, you know. I just, whatever, you know. Who am I trying to impress anymore? I'd like to thank the uh, makers of this show, which is myself. Um, let's, <laughs> I'm just joking. Thank you, Julie and Nikki and uh, Dan and, and all the people. And uh, thank you for being a good sport, Randy Trucker and uh, Outlaw and all those kind of guys. I'd just like to say, OMAD is the life for me. OMAD is the life for me. OMAD, OMAD. OMAD is. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Try to have some new stuff. Oh, Mad Man, oh, Mad Man, let me say goodbye. Okay, eat too much food. Okay, I love you all. Guess what? I like you. See you tomorrow.